Welcome back. Let's talk weather. Our drought monitor is still quite similar to what we've been watching, and so is our forecast through the entire western slope. We're mostly looking at, well, those dry grounds, but over Grand Junction and some of those surrounding areas, we are in that moderate zone for our drought and along kind of that northern border of New Mexico and that southern border of Colorado. That still sets us up with a actual fire weather warning active until just actually a few more hours. But keep in mind here on the western slope, even though those aren't active, be fire weather aware if you're headed out and about into all well, those mountainous regions and in those desert valleys because we do have this warm up on the way we're starting to see all that snow melt well melts and also we do have still some breezy and elevated wind speeds today but what can we expect locally? Still very similar to what we've been watching. Above average temperatures, they're continuing to increase as we wrap up the work week and get into the weekend. Again, some breezy skies. And even by the early work week, it'll be feeling even warmer. Maybe even some possible 80 degree temperatures, maybe even some record breaking temperatures. So this is that trend we have been watching. So yes, upper 70s as we get into maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday, jumping up into the 80s on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday as well. 83, 84 could be seen, which our record actually today was 83 degrees. I'll get some more details on that in our almanac in a moment. But yeah, as we start Monday and Tuesday, we might be seeing some record breaking temperatures this spring. Our future cast does show some intermittent cloud coverage. We'll notice, yeah, late night tonight, maybe a little bit of a clearing and mind you these are actually some upper elevation clouds so we're still going to get that sunshine here but we'll still maybe get a little bit of kind of a shading in that as we look towards the afternoon hours of Thursday as we look into Friday still clouds sticking around but we are getting some clearings in some regions and still maybe even a little bit of some rainfall through those high regions, but very minimal at that. Locally on Friday, we do have maybe a slight chance for maybe Fruita, Loma, Mac to get just a slight shower in those late hours of Friday. But overall, we're expecting those dry skies, except for those southern regions as we look towards maybe those later weekend days. Currently, though, we're on the cool down. Montrose is feeling 71. Grand Junction is at 77 right now. Moab, 77 as well. And down that I-70 corridor and even through those high regions, tad bit cooler down in those upper 50s and 60s right now. And outside on America's Mattress Live Tower Cam, yes, we do have some of those higher elevation clouds as we look into those mountainous regions right now. And of course, those are going to continue to come and go. And I did mention actually those almanac temperatures of record breaking 83. Of course, we didn't hit that today, but we might getting up into those kind of low to mid 80s towards again Monday and Tuesday. And we're also noticing those wind gusts earlier today were definitely a little bit elevated, more elevated than what we even were predicting last night. I'll be the first to admit that. And that's going to continue this evening. Just a tad bit breezy with those breezy skies. Keep in mind, pollen still elevated. Large amount of tree pollen, low grasses, low weeds, just a tad bit of some mold pollen with us. And tonight we will be feeling 47 in Grand Junction, 44 through Montrose will be seen. And we'll notice also tomorrow, not even just those warmer temperatures, but still some breezy skies. We're hitting 77 in Grand Junction, 80 through those desert valleys, 72 through Montrose. And I still have Bella hanging out with me this week for the dog walking forecast. Yes, lots of sunshine in the books, but I love her snow boots here. Those temperatures in the 70s aren't going to be hitting until those late, late afternoon hours. Discovery Auto Group's seven day forecast has that. That's the trend above average as we get into the weekend, starting the work week still above average. I wouldn't necessarily call it a heat wave, but we're jumping up into the 80s and those evening lows are also quite pleasant. 40s and 50s to be seen. Montrose is just a few degrees behind.